Everybody put your gear down and we'll talk a bit over here. Who gives us that safety lecture one more time, I swear. Come on, Steve. He's only doing it for our good. I know, I know, but I'm getting tired of the routine. We've heard it a million times. Safety, safety, safety. Okay, everybody listen and listen carefully. I know you've heard this all before, but you're going to hear it again and often. The name of the game is safety. What I tell you? Shh. Now, there is no margin for error. The first mistake you make could very well be your last. Now, we were lucky today. There were mistakes made, but none of them were fatal. You, Steve, you're number one. Me? Yes, you. You came all the way up from 12 feet without exhaling once. Well, heck, Mr. Mason, it was only 12 feet. Look at me, I'm OK. Sure you are this time. But next time, you may not be. Now, I've warned you that six feet is a danger point. It's very possible to get an air embolism on the way to the surface if you don't breathe. Now, you have a tank. Use it. Yes, sir. All right, now, everybody else, the first cardinal rule of diving is that you never dive without a partner, OK? You never dive without a partner. Man, he's getting to be a real old lady with these rules. Would you stop that? You've caused more than enough trouble as it is. Masks and fins. Uh, weight belt secure. OK, everybody check your regulators. Steve, is all of your equipment working properly? Yes, sir, I think so. I don't care what you think. I want you to know that everything is working properly. Now, you go back and recheck every piece of equipment. When you know it's working perfectly, you recheck it again, you understand? Yes, sir. Check, double check, triple check. Right. OK, everybody, let's go. Pair up. We might as well get wet. What about me, Mr. Mason? Nancy isn't here yet. I'm sorry, Steve. You know the rules. No diving without a partner. You'll just have to wait until she can join us. OK, everybody, let's go. Got all out of here, so there's nothing left for us to do but wait. Hope that Steve isn't in any trouble. Rick! Isis, your timing's perfect. Steve's under the water alone. We can't find him. I know it. Give me your tank. There's not much air left in it. Let's hope we won't need much. Thank <laughs> you. 
Mr. Mason. I don't know what to say, Isis, except thanks again. Thanks is enough, Rick. I'm just glad I got to him in time. I'll guarantee you one thing. You won't have to do it again. Don't be too hasty with him, Rick. She took my tank and, without putting it on, jumped in. Well, to make a long story short, thanks to Isis, Steve is still with us. I think Nancy feels worse than Steve. Hello. It's Thomas. You missed everything. Steve was trapped underwater, and Isis saved him. Is he all right? Oh, he's fine now. Oh, he's fine. But he won't be fine when I kick him out of the club. Oh, Mr. Mason. Oh, Mr. Mason. Steve is such a nice guy. But this was the worst and final stunt. He looks pretty scared to me. Look, me too. If it hadn't been for Isis, I'd have Steve on my conscience for the rest of my life. I mean, he's through. That's it. No thanks. At least have a talk with him. All right, I'll talk with him. But it won't do any good because he's out of the club, period. Steve, I have something I want to say to you. Well, I'll bet you do, Mr. Mason. I have something to say to you, too. Oh? Is it OK if I go first before I lose my nerve? OK, go ahead. Mr. Mason, you know all those safety rules you kept pounding at us over and over again? Make sure, don't take chances, double check. Well, I used to think you were just being an old lady about it. But I gotta tell you, from now on, compared to me, you're gonna look like some kind of a daredevil. Whatever you do to me, Mr. Mason, this is one lesson I'm never gonna forget. Well, I'll tell you what, Steve. As long as it never happens again, I won't kick you out of the club. I will put you on suspension for the rest of the month and probation for the remainder of the year, though. Thanks a lot, Mr. Mason. You won't be sorry. OK, Steve. What was this out of the club business, period? Well, I think he had a pretty good scare and learned a lesson. Besides, I don't expect any more trouble out of Steve. What are you two smirking about? I'm not smirking, Mr. Mason. Neither am I. Women. 